You see, when I walked in, I walked in this way, but Shane, who's living in the house right here, spotted this on the post. So yes, we do have a swarm. So this is gonna turn in from just an inspection to a swarm capture. I might have to go on both sides of the post, but uh, I'm gonna pause you here and get my Apame box that I brought with me, and we'll catch this swarm. Okay, so my guess is that these bees are from the hive that uh, I was just inspecting, because we didn't get down into it, we didn't find any queen cells in the other hive. But I'm gonna see if I can spot the queen. We got bees doing the waggle dance. Let's see here if we can get in on that. And that's telling this swarm where the hive is at, where the, the new home's gonna be at. So what I'm gonna do, I got my queen cage here. If I see the queen, I'm just gonna grab her in that cage. In the meantime, I'm gonna pull these queens off. A nice frame from last year, still has some honey on it. Funny room for the queen to lay. Only one in a bee suit here. Everybody else is, is uh, checking it out from a distance. But usually, a swarm is not very aggressive because there's nothing to defend right now. Look at them all crawl onto this this frame, looking for the queen. There might be some virgin queens in here. It might be the old queen. Knock any of the ground. Put that steam in there. And I don't see the queen on this one. I think it's full. Yes. They filled that pretty quick. Got a few on this side. I don't see the queen. Put this one down in here. Undrawn frame. Let's see if we can get them to crawl on here. These like to crawl up. So I'm just kind of scooping towards them. There we go. So now I'm just going here. Looking for the queen still. It's nice and gentle. Put them all and stick up in here. Mm -hmm. If you find the queen, they'll start fanning and the bees will come down here automatically. I've still got a lot of honey here. Go right up again. I have to go on the outside of the fence here to get the rest of the bees. All these frames to get them down in here. We've got a lot of fan going on here. Let me break these twigs off here. Right. Now we're on the 
the other side. We're going to keep returning to this post because they, until I find the queen, the power is Very good luck at finding the queen. I think there's definitely more in the box than there are outside now. Can't tell if the queen's in this hole or not. She's dropping on this side. So I'm switching sides. Now I got them confused. I got bees on that side and bees on this side, and they're marching on this side. You can see the bees starting to march in down there. Bring it on the board. So I don't know if I got the queen on this side or if she's on the other side, but one way or another, we're going to get her. You seem to be walking in on this side more. They are on the other side. My guess is the queen made it into this box. A lot more fanning on this side. And I just adjusted the other box. It doesn't look like they're moving there. So it looks like we got bees flying into both sides at 7 p.m. on Sunday, uh, capturing the swarm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until it's dark out, and then I'll move these bees over to back over to the stand. We'll see how it turns out. We're back at the swarm hives. Let's see what's going on here. I'm going to close this up. See if I can get that bee to go back in. Go in. There it goes. So I don't know if I have half the swarm in each box or what. But I'm going to uh, move these over to the stand now. It's about 9.30 at night, Sunday night. The, uh, I'm just going to put a towel over the front of this one keep those bees from flying at me and they say the bees don't like uh, they don't they're not attracted to red light so I'm wearing the red headlamp so give me a few minutes and we'll see them in the final resting spot for the moment okay so we got the bees over here on the stand we'll see how it turns out I'm not sure if there's more bees in this hive or this hive or if there's queens in both, but we'll come back in a few days and sort it out. Um, kind of an unconventional way of catching a swarm, but I was short on time and kind of rushed it. So next time I'll take more time. But I wanted to get out to the mechanic bees today also. So, all right, you can see the bees there. And you can see some bees here. Not a, reacting to the red light. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.